Hutch, how are you, first and foremost? Yeah, I'm OK. I'm safe and I'm well, as is my team around me. It is very, very cold at the moment, Patrick. It's around about minus six at the minute, and that's going to double in the, in the next few days. I'm currently at the busiest border crossing in Poland. That's Medica. Uh, and uh, 48 hours ago, when I came here, uh, there was um, still a hive of activity. Lots of Ukrainian refugees coming across that border from Ukraine into Poland. Poland. But now things have started to heat up in terms of the operation from the Polish people uh, and also from people from all over the country, uh, people in Spain, uh, people from America, from China, all coming here to Medica to help. This is a wooden shelter that is being erected to uh, provide warmth to Ukrainians as they cross the border because it is bitterly cold at the moment. We know that more than two million people have fled Ukraine uh, since the war began two weeks ago. Most of those uh, are headed towards Poland. That's over 1.2 million now have, have, have actually uh, arrived in Poland. But when they get here across the border, uh, for example, here in Medica, the journey doesn't stop there. They actually get on a bus and they're coming every five minutes um, free of charge. They get taken to other parts. Zhezhov is another area uh, where they can then board trains again free of charge uh, and at stations they're currently being converted into uh, spots for food uh, to give children nappies and animals uh, some food as well because of course for many people I've realized they're coming with dogs with animals There's, right behind me there are refugees from Ukraine coming now uh, uh, children older people younger people arriving here is a child with with a uh, bag of, of coffee a bag of sweets um, and the gloves you see them wearing uh, that's actually gloves that are being given by Polish police believe it or not police are holding bags of gloves uh, they've swapped their guns for gloves and they are offering them to children Ukrainian children crossing the border so one sense that I'm getting uh, over the last 40 hours is a sense of support, a sense of humanity from not just Polish people, but from people all over the world here in Medica.